Let me demonstrate how you can actually navigate through the Windows Event Viewer because Windows Event Viewer has, normally has a huge number of data and if you want specific data for a specific range, you have to go and sift through it. Let's go to the most common location where everybody looks for their event. Let's go to application under Windows Lock here. Uh, like I said, you can see there's a tons of event that's happening. And let's say if you want a specific event like this one here, you're going to have to sift through every single row to look for it. And then if you look at the details here, this is details not really going to help you as well. It's a bit convoluted and difficult to decipher. So let me put this into XML. I'll explain the reason why here shortly. So to apply filter to this particular planter of uh, event, what you do is you under the action here, you're going to select filter current log. And this pop-up window will appear. In here, you're going to select XML. And then over here, you're going to select edit query manually. And this pop-up normally appears indicating that you're about to edit it manually. Just say yes. And after that, on over here, you're going to, what I normally like to do is give some indentation. And then after that, in here, you start applying your filter. Let's say, for example, if you want to look for anything that is maybe error, which is uh, level two, which is here, level two on this XML, this is how you do it. You're going to open with a square bracket. First, you can see it's under the system branch here. You're going to type system, and then it's under system and under level. Of course, you're going to open another square bracket here, and you're going to type level. And over here, you can say equal is the number is a numeric value, an integer that you're going to apply. So zero is uh, always is, a, is for everything. Level two is for error, three is for warning, four is for information, and five is for verbose. So let's say if you want to look for errors, going to say equal to two like this, and then close for the first level and close for the system. After that, if you click on OK, you can see all the errors will come up on the display. And you can see that this level, everything is consistently two. Now, you might say, OK, what if I want to look for error and warning, which are the two most common things people look for? Again, go back to your filter current here. In here, since it's going to be two different level or is what you're going to use say or and then this time around you're going to look for level equal three which is your warning and click on okay you can see it does encompass warning and error now so another thing about the filter that you got to know is what if i want to filter based on your time created system this particular date how do you do it well it's pretty simple you're going to go to current filter here in there and after that, over here, since your time created system is under the system uh, branch itself, you're going to start putting your end statement here. But normally what I like to do is I like to put a couple of indentation and space to help myself out. And enter this following filter to filter based on time from 1st of September 2014, say from 11.23 all the way down to uh, September 25th, 2014 till 1 o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, this time created is over here, and there's a space in between. It basically means that it's an attribute. The system time is actually an attribute for time created. That's why it's separated by a square bracket and an add symbol here. And this one here, you're going to have to use the XML notation of greater than, let me highlight this guy here, greater than or equal to, like I said, for September uh, 2014 at 1123, and to indicate. Uh, from that date to the other date here, which is uh, 25th of September 2014, uh, 2024, uh, up till the afternoon time here. So just keep that in mind that uh, this particular uh, format has to be done. I'll leave this uh, query in the description. If you like a copy of it, please look at the description of this video. If not, drop me a comment and I'll send it to you. After that, if you click OK, as you can see, it created a series of filter for errors and warning, but you can see that it does show you uh, earlier dates other than uh, 1st of September. That's a bit of a error on my filter here. Let's go back to our, our filter current log here. So this, what it means is that this N only applies to level three. So if you want to do for both level two and three, you're going to have to put a bracket around level two like this and level three like this, and then click on OK. And there you have it. Now they are only showing you level two and three uh, status. And the date range is from 1st September till 25th of September.